Students, watch the animated video of Couple and Urban Working Principle and its uh, expressions to understand the work. Okay, see carefully the video of Couple and Urban, which is reaction, which is a reaction type of turbine, and uh, axial leaving here beta equal to 90 but theta is greater than 90 degrees acute angle water enters at the one end of the tip of curved tip leaves along the axial of axis of the turbine. kaplan turbines are suitable for power extraction when water energy is available at low head and high flow rate which means they are suitable for operation when water is stored in a big reservoir at a relatively shallow altitude. In Kaplan turbine, flow is entered through a spiral casing. Decreasing area of casing makes sure that flow is entered to the central portion almost at uniform velocity throughout the perimeter water after crossing the guide veins passes over the runner finally it leaves through a draft tube most important part of kaplan turbine is its runner cross section of runner blade will have a curved shape when water flows over it it will induce a lift force due to airfoil effect. Tangential component of lift force will make the runner rotate. This rotation is transferred to a generator for electricity production. Kaplan turbines are axial flow machines where absolute velocity of flow is parallel to axis of turbine. Water is precisely made to pass through runner blades with help of a shroud. Yep. Power demand may fluctuate over time. A governing mechanism, which controls position of guide vanes, is used to control water flow rate. This can meet for varying power demand. Blades of Kaplan turbine are designed to operate under a wide range of operating conditions. A rotating blade experiences relative velocity of flow. The fundamental thing in blade design is relative velocity of fluid flow should be at optimum angle of attack at all cross sections. Even though absolute velocity is axial, relative velocity will be inclined depending upon blade velocity. Inclination of relative velocity increases as we move from root to tip due to increasing blade velocity. There should be continuous twist in blade from root to tip so that at every cross section the angle of attack is optimum. With varying flow condition relative velocity will change drastically. Kaplan turbine blades are adjustable. When flow rate is high, relative velocity of flow will be more axial. So blade should pitch vertically. If flow rate is low, relative velocity of flow is more tangential. So blades are pitched in tangential direction. In short, pitching action of blade makes sure that blade is still an optimum angle of attack, even under varying flow. Apart from controlling the flow rate, guide vanes have got one more function. They help in controlling swirl of flow. If guide vanes were not present, the flow would be highly swirling in nature due to its tangential entry.
Such a flow would reduce performance of turbine drastically, due to its poor, angle of attack. So guide vanes control swirl of flow, for optimum angle of attack. Biggest challenge in design of Kaplan turbine is, how to overcome problem of cavitation, which causes material erosion and, vibration. Cavitation is unavoidable in Kaplan turbine, since in most of the regions, pressure goes very low. But damage due to cavitation can be reduced by using suitable blade material, and use of anti-cavitation fin. Draft tube, which transforms dynamic pressure to static pressure, due to its increasing area, also helps in reducing cavitation effect. Thank you. Hope you got a good understanding on Kaplan turbines. Writing's not that easy, but Grammarly can help. This sentence is grammatically correct. Friends, next watch the different uh, animated videos of these uh, working principles of uh, water turbines such as the plane turbine, Francis turbine and Peltan. Okay. Comparison of Pelton, Francis and Kaplan Turbine animated videos. Very very three important topics in this water turbines chapter. Okay, by comparing the different parts of these different turbines, you can understand the working principles as well as you can write it in exam nation also. So that clearly watch these videos. Okay. Comparison of Pelton, Francis and Kaplan turbines. Just two minutes, it's not a minute, so it's there, a video, but concentrate and learn the concept. To network problem, we are not fast connecting these videos in uh, my home down. So, students just listen patiently, just listen patiently and observe the class.
Pelton, Francis, and Kaplan are the most commonly used hydraulic turbines. In this video, we will compare these three turbines and see when to use which turbine. When we move from Pelton to Kaplan, the force producing mechanism changes from impulse to reaction. In Pelton, pure impulse force of water jet is responsible for rotation of impeller. Water stored at high altitude can produce high impulse force due to its high velocity. So Pelton turbine are suitable for operation when water energy is available at high head and low flow rate. Whereas Kaplan turbine is suitable for the reverse case. A high water flow will guarantee efficient production of reaction force. So when water is available at high flow rate and low head, Kaplan turbine is the best choice. Francis turbine comes in between for medium head to medium flow rate applications. Francis turbine is not a pure reaction turbine. A portion of force comes from impulse action also. This graph gives a clear idea about when to use which turbine, depending upon available water head and flow rate. It is obvious that Francis turbine covers a wide range of operating conditions or they can work efficiently in wide range of operating conditions. This is why Francis turbine is the most preferred hydraulic turbine. If you use a turbine out of its recommended operating range, it will work, but less efficiently. It is also interesting to note the direction of fluid flow with respect to axis of rotation in each case. Pelton, Francis, and Kaplan are the most commonly used hydraulic turbines. In this video, we will compare these three turbines and see when to use which turbine. When we move from Pelton to Kaplan, the force producing mechanism changes from impulse to reaction. In Pelton, pure impulse force of water jet is responsible for rotation of impulse. Peller. Water stored at high altitude can produce high impulse force due to its high velocity. So Pelton turbine are suitable for operation when water energy is available at high head and low flow rate. Whereas Kaplan turbine is suitable for the reverse case. A high water flow will guarantee efficient production of reaction force. 
So when water is available at high flow rate and low head, Kaplan turbine is the best choice. <laughs> Francis turbine comes in between for medium head to medium flow rate applications. Francis turbine is not a pure reaction turbine. A portion of force comes from impulse action also. This graph gives a clear idea about when to use which turbine, depending upon available water head and flow rate. It is obvious that Francis turbine covers a wide range of operating conditions or they can work efficiently in wide range of operating conditions. This is why Francis turbine is the most preferred hydraulic turbine. If you use a turbine out of its recommended operating range, it will work, but less efficiently. It is also interesting to note the direction of fluid flow with respect to axis of rotation in each case. Okay, students, now we have to discuss about uh, problems on the supplant turbine. Okay, first problem is Okay, you have to okay, remember all those formulas which have, we have previously described that is hydraulic efficiency equal to VW1 into U by GH whereas VW1 means vertical flow velocity at inlet U is the curved way and velocity G is the acceleration due to gravity H is nothing but mean head available then another formula area of flow AF equal to pi by 4 DO square minus DB square where DO is the outer diameter of the runner where DB is the uh, bus diameter or hub diameter discharge Q equal to pi by 4 DO square minus DB square into VFN where VFN is the flow velocity Next work done or power work per second or power developed equal to rho Q into VW1 plus r minus v double 2 into u whereas v double 2 equal to 0 so therefore power developed equal to rho q into v double 1 into u and available power input is equal to rho g h q that is that is uh, rho g h q is power input so these formulas have to remember and do the problems First problem is a Kaplan turbine runner has outer diameter of 4.5 meters and in inner diameter of 2.5 meters and develops 21,000 kilowatts. When it running at the 140 rotations per minute under a head of 20 meters, then the hydraulic efficiency is 94%, overall efficiency is 80%. Find the discharge to the turbine and the blade angle at inlet okay so yeah. you have to convert that given data into symbols that is outer diameter devo equal to 4.5 inner diameter db equal to 2.5 meters output power to 21,000 kilowatts runner speed 140 rpm head available 20 meters hydraulic efficiency 94 percent overall efficiency 80 percent this data is all given you have to calculate the thing and call me you have to calculate find the discharge to the turbine and guide bed angle at inlet okay discharge you are asked to calculate discharge q and guide blade angle 
alpha okay yeah, both of you values you have to calculate for that try to draw the velocity triangles and okay velocity triangles and calculate the given values for that overall efficiency he is given hydraulic efficiency is given and overall efficiency given from overall efficiency formula okay you can calculate that p by overall efficiency equal to output power by water power so p that is equal to p by w p h so p is given overall efficiency is given 0.80 percent that means 0.8 input power output power is also given that is 21,000 kilowatts w is is 9.81 q you have to calculate h is given 20 from that you can directly calculate the discharge of water which quanta water living from the Kaplan turbine that is okay 13.379 meter cube per second then you have to calculate the inlet of the angle you have to calculate guide wave angle you have to draw the inlet velocity triangle so this is the uh, curve this is the triangle inlet velocity triangle and this, that is the, this this bottom one is the outlet panel triangle from this inlet velocity triangle tan alpha equal to vf1 by vw1 so you ask to calculate alpha okay sir so, but blade velocity is can constant that is u1 equal to u, u u1 equal to u2 equal to pi d o n by 60 so outer diameter is given and is given so you can calculate the u will a curved blade velocity you can calculate that is 33 meters per second 33 meters per second okay then from the hydraulic efficiency formula you can calculate the vw1 also so vw1 for calculating vw1 hydraulic efficiency formula we have to use that is hydraulic efficiency equal to power developed by water power that is equal to vw1 u1 by gh so here hydraulic efficiency you know the so that's why you have to take directly 0.94 you don't know vw1 so i kept as it as vw1 even you are calculated that is 33 g is 9.81 at available 20 from that you can easily calculate vw1 okay 0.94 into 9.81 into 20 divided by 33 you will get the answer vw1 equal to 5.588 meters per second vw1 here where is it the vw1 here so this is the vw1 at the inlet of the velocity of the coupling turbine yes. then from using discharge equation q equal to pi by 4 d o square minus db square by vf1 We have to calculate the okay. You have to calculate the pi by 4 d o square minus d b square by v f one. You can calculate the v f one formula. So v f one okay. V f one equal to twelve point one six meter per second. Okay, that is tan alpha equal to vf1 by vw1 okay you, you are calculated already vw1 uh, now we are calculated vf1 then you can find out the answer alpha equal to tan inverse of 12.16 by 5.588 you will get that is 2.176 tan inverse 2.176 so alpha equal to 65.319 degrees 65.319 degrees is the given problem given inlet guide vein angle so like that you have to calculate the given <coughs> expressions by using given relations uh, uh, obtained relations from the inlet velocity triangle and outlet velocity triangle okay the major hint in this problem is he was given hydraulic efficiency as well as hydraulic efficiency as well as mechanical efficiency okay. overall efficiency is given both efficiencies are given in this problem so you, uh, you, uh, you can directly calculate the okay or from um, discharge from overall efficiency from um, uh, hydraulic efficiency you can discharge value velocity um, from that discharge equation again you can uh, calculate the flow velocity 
from that both uh, cal calculating those expression you can directly calculate the guide way and angle alpha by using simple relation that is tan alpha equal to vf1 by vw <coughs> vw1 okay this is a simple method to calculate given problem so next problem is a coupling turbine is required a coupling turbine is required to develop 7000 kilowatts under a head of 4 meters speed ratio is 2 and flow ratio is 0.7 the ratio of bus diameter to runner diameter is 0.35 find the speed of runner assuming 90 percent overall efficiency you are asked to calculate the speed of the runner in you are asked to calculate the speed of the runner in remaining data is given you have to convert it into symbol that is r developed to p equal to 7000 kilowatts head is given 4 meters speed ratio you have to remember this formula correlation that is speed ratio equal to u by u1 by v1 equal to 2 flow ratio vf1 by v1 equal to 0 0.7 Bus to runner diameter ratio db by dy equal 0.35. These data is all given in problem. So then using these correlations, you can convert, calculate remaining unknown velocity triangle angles. Okay, overall efficiency is also given 90%. By using that equation, we have to calculate the overall efficiency. So this is in <coughs> inlet velocity triangle, outlet velocity triangle of the coupling turbine. Okay, so uh, by using overall efficiency turbine equation the okay it is soft power by rho g h q so soft power is given that is uh, 7000 under uh, density is 1000 g is 9.81 h is 4 meters q is not given from this equation q you can uh, <coughs> correlate and uh, um, uh, <coughs> convert into that equation in convert in the form of discharge you will get the answer 178.389 meter cube per second it charge equal to 178.389 meter cube per second after calculating the discharge from the coupling turbine we have to correlate with this <coughs> answer with the <coughs> general formula that is phi d phi d o square minus d o square into f b f one so here d o by here we given in problem diameter of bus to diameter of uh, outer shaft equal to 0.35 okay. From that you can calculate p q equal to pi by 4 d o square minus d b square equal to 0 0.35 d o square okay, substitute that value in this uh, discharge equation you may, then we will get q is given now uh, is already we have calculated that is uh, <coughs> 0 0.7 equal to v f 1 by root 2 g h from that v f 1 you can calculate easily it is 0 0.7 into root 2 g h so h is given 4 so you can get vf1 equal to 6.2 meters per second okay with this vf1 kept it in this quantity discharge equation you will get the answer do equal 6.46 meters after finding the diameter of outer uh, rotor you can calculate you can easily calculate the diameter of bar that is db equal to 0.35 into do you can get the answer such as 2.261 meters okay so this is a simple uh, type of calculating the values as such as uh, uh, diameter of ball diameter of uh, hey, runner diam okay and flow velocity by using same equation one equation okay from speed ratio you can calculate the u velocity of the curved vein that is speed ratio equal to u1 by 2 to j you know so that is equal to 2 is given in given problem so u1 is you have to calculate u1 so that uh, you have to sub uh, separate the u1 from this equation u1 equal to 2 into root 2 gh so 2 into root 2 into 9.81 into head is given 4 that is from multiplying those values you will get the vela curved weight blade velocity u even equal to 17.7 meters per second then this answer is uh, rectifying with uh, the general formula u1 equal to pi d o n by 6 so u is given 17.7 you have to calculate diameter of outer ring so the diameter of outer bus is given as it is you have to place it and uh, and you can cal calculate the speed so then you have to separate the n from the given equation and remaining multiplication and cross section cross multiplication can be done so that from that you can get the value of the speed, runner speed as like that 50 rpm 50 rpm you will get the final answer
okay this is about uh, calculation of the speed of the runner as well as the diameter of the bar diameter of the runner diameter and discharge from the from using <coughs> this given data from this given data okay this is about today's class okay so first we have see once again you have to understand okay this uh, means this is given the output power 7000 kilowatts head is given 4 meters speed ratio is given 2 flow ratio is given 0.7 and uh, ratio of boy diameter runner diameter is 0.35 and uh, speed of the runner is assuming 90 percent overall efficiency they have to calculate the convert that uh, data into symbolic form like this and from this given data you can calculate the discharge by using overall efficiency formula as well as uh, uh, this general formula equal pi over dv square minus dv square into vf1 okay substitute the dv, dv value in uh, in this discharge equation using this dv by dv equation from that you can calculate the uh, flow ratio flow ratio you can calculate the flow okay flow ratio this is vf1 by v1 using this flow ratio equation you can calculate the um, flow velocity and from using speed ratio you can calculate the third wave in velocity okay from that you can get vf1 equal to 6.2 meters per second dodb also calculated then you can get the speed ratio using this formula u1 17.7 and from this speed ratio formula you have to calculate the speed of the runner that is 50 rpm okay like that you have to get the answers with the using these simple correlations okay you have to remember these correlations to get the answer then only get the problem other answer so that either you cannot get the solutions okay then simple quizzes flow ratio defines flow ratio flow ratio and in the vf1 by root age is the split flow ratio the flow means flow of velocity so the clear where is the flow velocity you can find from this third uh, option so that it's that's why it is vf1 by root j is the flow ratio second discharge in coupling turbine discharge in coupling coupling turbine means there is two diameters of the runner that is d1 minus d1 dv so from this given three equation three choices first choice is correct one okay, okay next uh, this is a frequent last question uh, one question is given you have to solve this and show me the the whatsapp chart that is uh, it coupling turbine produces uh, 4145 kilowatts that means that is output shaft power is given and uh, head of uh, water is 25 meters is given overall efficiency is 90 percent okay then find the diameter and speed of the turbine find the diameter and speed of the turbine okay if the up diameter is 0.35 times the outer diameter okay so that means the db by do is equal to 0.35 okay db by do equal 0.35 from that using this correlation you have to calculate the diameter of the turbine the diameter and the turbine and from this using speed ratio you have to calculate the speed of the turbine and for by using flow ratio you have to calculate the discharge and uh, okay remaining all parameters have to calculate the only you can get this when asked expressions okay this is about today's class in each turbine you have, uh, I explained two models okay remaining models I have to practice by using the textbook okay I think I will stop for today's class and I will discuss later